Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel, Veracity Trigger. This is going to be a tutorial video as to how to play the Brigantine Grand Edition game in full English and English voice acting. So, I've already done this before, I've already downloaded everything I needed to, but I figured I'd help other people because some people want to know how to get to it, and uh, they're not very technically savvy as far as... Um, putting it together themselves. So I put it together myself. Uh, this is what I've been playing on my channel for a while now. So what I did is I put it on the uh, the Burgundy website here. And so this is the new website for Burgundy. The old one is gone. And uh, so it's on this site here. And it's a pretty nice site. You know, if you want to sign up and stay and chat a bit, you definitely can. There's a forum section here. I'm going to bring you to where I put the post for it and this is the post right here right here so if you come onto this website <clears throat> you can come to this post and here is CD1 it's all patched here is CD2 it's all patched and right down here is the Q files so these are the bin files ISO bin files and these are the Q files so you can download all these things here and you can use the Q files if you need to for your emulator. Um, I particularly don't. I, yeah, I really haven't uh, for my emulator that I'm using, but they're, they're here. So if you need them, you'll have all four of the pieces to the puzzle. And um, yeah, they're set in a WinRAR. So you're going to have to pull them out of WinRAR, you know, unencrypt them from WinRAR. To be able to use them uh, for most of the emulators but um, yeah you're going to be coming to the form section here and to actually get into this website you're going to have to you know you'll first come to this page obviously but then go to the recruitment page and just sign up and you can uh, jump on to the website which is burgadine friendly and yeah there's uh, members events uh, people putting up uh, live stream events or Burgundy gameplay events. We put this stuff here. You can click on this. You can see which day it is of the month and the time. There is gallery here. Uh, somebody did also put up, uh, Jake Armitage did put up a, uh, a bunch of pictures as far as the grid design for the maps, which was really nice. So there's that sort of stuff here. Um, other things here too, I still have to put up a class chart chat. Um, not chat, but a class up chart uh, picture. I had a I had a picture, was it was just too small. I'd have to probably copy my picture from my map and put it in here. But um, there's fan art, there's a lot of other art in here in the gallery. Uh, there's a little chat room here if you want to talk and stuff. There's links to other things here as well. And um, yeah. So this is a uh, this is the new fan site for Burgundine fans. Um, definitely come and sign up. Uh, you're gonna see a little notification bell when somebody says something possible to you or on the site, um, and you know it'll be kind of fun. But yeah, that's basically where you go. You go into the forums. Uh, there's different forum sections. There's the Burgundine General Forum, which concludes everything. You can say whatever, you know just to kind of like break things up and kind of put them into a neat and orderly fashion. Um, strategy game area, talk about other strategy games. Legend of Forcina, the Grand Edition, music related to Brigandine or uh, Brigandine uh, music that um, another YouTuber that I know has put up some stuff for. So, yeah. Uh, Valkus Lenari put up some Brigandine uh music pieces here I think it's down yeah yeah right down here so people are putting up some music from Burgundine here as well you can go check these out and um, I think you can download them too possibly yeah I think you can yeah I think you can but anyways there's there's a lot more here than um, people might imagine other file other things you want to talk about so yeah this is all very Brigantine-esque. So, yeah, if you want to come on here, you want to find the file. It's down in the Brigantine Grand Edition section, obviously, and I put it right here. So, uh, yeah, that's where you go. 
to go find the uh, the disks. So you'll have the whole thing. You won't have to patch anything. It's already patched. So this is a pre-patched English uh, Grand Edition, and voiceovers are in English as well. And so I probably have to put up some more credits here. Um, I think that's what I needed to do. That's what I was trying to remember to do. But um, also beyond that, uh, if you need uh, help uh, getting an emulator to work, uh, this is the part of the video that I'm going to try to help you a little bit with that. Um, I have an older uh, version of, um, uh, what is it called now? It's, uh, it's a PCSX-R, I think, and it's an older version. And I tried to find where I could get it again, and I, I can't even find it online. So what I decided to do was try to help you, um, if you don't have an emulator for it, uh, I'm going to try to help you get an emulator that does work. And I've opened up this site here. So if you want to know where the Burgundy website is right here, let me let, let me go back real real quick, sorry. Let me go back real quick. So it's basically, it's, it's um, brigandine.engine.com and it's, it's uh, engine with a J instead of a G and there's no E there. So if you copy this top part here, you'll find it. I'll also leave links below, below this video for you to uh, find the link to this website itself. And so this is going to be the basically the mainstay for the Brigadine fans that have been here for so long. This has been um, this is basically the 20 year anniversary for Legend of Forcina, I believe. 2018, it came out in 1998, so it's been about 20 years. So I figure this would be kind of a new, you know, cool anniversary like thing. Uh, this is kind of what I wanted to do: is build up a good, nice website, for people to want to come back to and talk. You know, I remember the forum sections uh, were pretty heavy with a lot of dialogue, and so that was kind of fun. But yeah, come come over to this website, and you're going to find those files that you want. But if you want to look at a possible emulator to use that maybe you don't use an emulator, um, or you don't remember where your emulator is, I don't know, you've never uh, tried it before, but um, if you need one, this one does work. It's called EPSXE, and it's not the same thing that I've been putting up on my videos because I have an older one, and I tried to find that one to see if I could help people out by maybe getting that same kind, but I can't seem to find that specific kind that I had. Um, so I have this other emulator, which is, it's got this little game controller down here, and I've had this one for a while too, and I've used this for my Front Mission games and some other games too. But the newer, later one works pretty well. And if you have Windows, like the current stuff, all this stuff on the top here is the current downloads. The stuff on the bottom here is old versions of the downloads. So the new current version actually does work for this game. So you can get Windows if you have Windows up here, and I've got other options here too. Um, but the very top one is the version 2.0.5 for Windows. And you go and you click that, you'll get that in your downloads, which I just I just basically got today um, in my download section here. And so what you do here, um, I don't know why that keeps popping up, but what you end up doing here is you just go like this, highlight the whole thing, and I've already got a file here. I've already got a folder I made on the side. And you would just drag that into an empty folder that you just made. So just drag it out there. And as long as you have the, the WinRAR set up, because I already paid for this in the past, I think. Um, I don't know why they want to ask for that again. But just basically do this and drag it into an empty folder. And then you open up that folder, which I already have right here. Um, yeah, let's lower this window for a second here. So you got this empty folder here, um, and you want to set up the you want to set up the uh, the game, the emulator itself. You know, I've already got this kind of opened up, and I've already I've already done it, so I'm, I'm already kind of done. But um, when you're here, before you go to Wizard Guide, right before you do that, 
um, you're going to have to open up this this whole set of folders and all this stuff. First, you're going to need a BIOS file. You're going to need to find this. I don't think I can physically give this to you myself. You have to go find this file here. It's a scph1001.bin. So this is the BIOS file here, and you just need to pop it right there, right into this folder. So once you get that, you got that in a folder. Um, you can look for some plugins. I put this plugin here, but I think it has a different plugin. I'm not sure. If you need this plugin too, you'll need to go find this plugin here. This GPU Peter Open GL2 dot DLL. You might need to find this file. Uh, I don't know if I had to for this one in particular. I think this has a few other options here. But um, that's really all you got to do. You just pop that in there, and if it asks you to delete something, like erase me, you can just erase it. It's not, it's not important. You don't even really have to erase it if you don't want to. Um, and the, the memory card file will make its own memory card files here. So when you get this, it'll be empty. It'll just say games and delete me. It'll be empty until you actually save a game. And once you save a game, then it'll create memory files here. These are the uh, memory card files. I don't know what R means, but this is where the memory cards are. If you're like me and you're older and you want the memory card file, this is where it's at. Um, save states, you can do that too. The guy who put this up wrote punch me and erase me and all kinds of stuff. So it just basically means erase when you see that. But uh, you can do save states too. Um, as far as switching to disk two from a save state, uh, you might have to try a few things. I haven't tried it yet. I don't do save states too much. I usually just use the memory card file. But um, I have another video on that. So if you want to watch the previous video I did as far as how to switch your disk, you can go and check that out too. And that might have some good explanation in there for you. But if I have to go over this again because of this particular video, uh, let me know because I'll, I probably will. But um, as far as this particular video is concerned about, about you getting the um, full English patch Grand Edition game, I pretty much covered most of that. I'm just going to kind of show you how to get the game running on an emulator here. So the whole point was you grab the BIOS file. You have to go find this. If you don't have one or if you have a copy of one, the exact same copy for some other emulators will work for this one too. So if it's the same exact letters that are here, somewhere else on your PC, it should work for this too. Um, and uh, you can also check by the size as well. And um, so yeah, that's really all there is that you need for that. And then once you have that BIOS file there, then you can come over here, go to your config, go to your wizard guide, and you want to go through your wizard guide setup here. Um, so like you would just click this, because this is a different type of BIOS that's not all that great. You click that. Um, that one's fine. The sound just gives you that. And as far as this CD drive is concerned, it forces me to pick this one. So I just click Next and then I click Controller. And then I've got everything set up as far as like my buttons are concerned. With um, I use Joy to Key sometimes, so I have Joy to Key up. And so you could use a keyboard if you want and stuff like that. Um, so that's fine for me. Next. Done, 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 done. All right. So now when you're in here too, as, as far as this is concerned, you're not totally done yet. Because when you get to here, I was having trouble turning this thing on until I clicked on CPU overclocking times one. Nothing was clicked, so there was no kind of clocking set at all. You actually have to click one of these. I was like, what is going on here? And I was looking for it, and I couldn't find anything. And I was like, oh gosh, okay, I got to click this to be on in order for the stuff to start. So make sure you got, um, after you're done with the wizard, make sure you come to your options, CPU overclocking, and click on the check. And make sure it has a check mark next to times one. Okay, and um, after that, um, yeah, after that, uh, then you just basically, um, you can set up your gamepad, you know, if you want to change it. You can change it in the wizard too, but, um, 
you know, I just kind of do that sort of afterwards. So that's all set. Uh, what else? What else? Now you can go to video and you can change all kinds of stuff in here. And I pretty much just left this set to what it was set to. So I haven't really changed anything here, but there's a lot of things you can do as far as this is concerned to change how your game looks. But I've put up a game already with um, the settings that it gave me and they look pretty good as far as this emulator is concerned. The one that I have, I've tweaked enough that it looks different than how this is going to look. But the way the one that I've, you know, the emulator, the one that I have is um, is older and it's just already tweaked. But the way this is set up seems pretty good. And so if you just go ahead and run ISO, um, you're just going to run, I think the bin file. Yeah, the bin file is fine. Um, and uh, so I'm going to go, I'll show you a little bit of the game here. Uh, so I already created a save file, but to start up the game, uh, what I'll probably do is I'll just start a new game for right now, kind of show you what's going on here. And you get to see some of the cutscenes, some of the English. You can see it's all in English here, multiplayer. Uh, it says the type of tournament. I've always said scenario, but um, the translator changed the tournament, so apparently it's, it's a tournament now. But the story mode you can do um, three different settings, squire, knight, and king. Those are the uh, types of difficulties. Let's go try, let's go do uh, Norgard here. You can see everything is uh, written in English. So you can see all that. It plays the Empire, which is kind of cool. Carleon, everybody. Practically everybody. So let's play as Norgard to start. Uh, I will be doing an LP of this pretty soon here on my channel in case you want to check that out. And so here we go. Let's get to the cutscenes. Even if war covers the world, even if all for Senna burns to ash, I will fight on. Fight on like a demon. I will rule it all. There's one of the cutscene parts. Let's get past the burning castle of Elmechia. At Fagru and Morgard. And he used a different kind of font, so it's a little more fun looking. But let's get to the other cutscene here and uh, I'll show you. Uh, show you a little bit of the battle too. So square I. To unify this continent and end this terrible age of war. Knights of Norgard, will you now follow me to this future? Yes, my lord. I, your loyal servant, Palamides, would jump through fire and water to follow you wherever you may choose to go. I am your weapon! Hmm, how predictable. What? Unlike you, his majesty is a very prudent man. Why on earth would he ever need to jump through any fire or water? Why you? This is what you kept me waiting for. Well, that's Brangian. Brangian. So let's get through that. Show you a little battle here. Hopefully we'll get to see some uh, colors. What's going on here? So, I don't feel like showcasing the whole game right now because I'm just gonna test some things out. So, going here we can look at uh, Dillard's stats here. Grappler, some of the word wording has been changed. So, 
It's been changed a little bit. There's some things that are a little bit different. Um, like this was a demon. Now it's called an imp. Uh, it's still the same thing, as, essentially. It's just a different name and a different word to it. Um, Alright, so let's execute that. Let's do an attack here real quick. Let's attack to mass. And I'll show you a few things here. So you can kind of see the simulator is pretty decent. Okay, let's get to our turn. Alright. So we're going to try some magic. We're going to try... And uh, some of the wording has changed to this. Is, this used to be power. It's now fury. So let's put it on something that... Uh, let's put it on the clay golem. Let's see if he changes colors or what happens here. Okay, so he's actually glowing kind of red there. Alright, so that works. I just want to check out some of the spells. See how they're working with their colors and stuff. But if you've seen me play the game already, you probably already know. Let's check out a Halo spell. Let's put the Halo on Kirkland. Let's see if there's a color to this. Oh, he's glowing like a gold color. Okay. Now let's try the Harden spell, which was the Protect spell beforehand. Uh, let's put it on... Let's put it on Salva, the Imp. And she's glowing green. Okay. So you can start to see some of these colors go. Um, and when the... Uh, the the protect uh, any of the spells or any of those things fall off and the color that um, they're glowing will fall off too. So this emulator, the basic settings that I already have set actually show the difference between all the colors and stuff. And so yeah, I could just probably go play a game if I want to, you know, but uh, the point of this was to show you that you could play this emulator and play a Grand Edition on this emulator with these settings. And the settings are pretty decent. You're going to see the dialogue, you're going to see, you're going to hear the dialogue from the voice actors that um, put it up. Let me uh, lower this out here for a second. Is, um, they're pretty much done with that. So, yeah, if you want to go check this out, uh, definitely go check out the links that um, I will have down below. Uh, if you need any other kind of help at all, you know, don't be afraid to ask. I will try to help the best I can. I know some people have been asking me for this for quite some time, and I just have been so busy with so many things that uh, I finally got the time right now. So I'm finishing this up here. Um, if there's any other questions or anything at all, please let me know. But um, yeah, if you want to uh, stay on the uh, Brigadine website and go ahead and talk a bit, and uh, yeah, you can stay there for conversation too. That's kind of the point of the site to bring back the fans um, from uh, from old because uh, this year right now is the 20th anniversary of Legend of Forcina. So in a way this is kind of like my anniversary gift back to you uh, or you know being fans and all and all that. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did uh, leave me a like. Uh, leave me some tips or hints as to how I could improve this video if I if I kind of need to or if I need to do a follow-up video of some kind and um, you know if you want to watch some Brigadine gameplay I do usually do a good amount of Brigadine uh, gameplay as far as uh, regular LPs and uh, playing multiplayer with other friends on this game itself so 
plenty of things to watch on my channel. I have a good amount of variety. But if you're up for the Burgundine stuff, uh, definitely subscribe for that. And uh, stay tuned for all the future Burgundine videos that I'll be putting out. So have a good night or have a good day, depending upon where you're at. And I will talk to you later.